Old people need to watch what they say. You know, I hope they're having a great day. Because I'm having a great day. Whack ass motherfucker. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. Let's do this. Now, I really, really, really try to be nice. And I'm 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 not here to cause beef. I'm not here to do anything like that. But a lot of you guys know Lee Mac. And you guys know that myself and Lee Mac have a little bit of history. So let's get into the history really quick. We're just going to make this really fast because it's not going to be a long video. So the thing about this is little Lee Mac got in his feelings as an old man, as an elder statesman, because I did the top 10 worst list. Now, what he wanted to do was make his little video and send out a little sneak disc. He never mentioned my name when he said this, but I was the only other person that was making this video. So, he wanted to be a little bit of bully. And that's what his thing is. His thing is to bully other people. He likes to throw rocks and then hide his hands and then say, oh man, I'm having a great day. I hope everybody else is having a great day. But you are not that guy, Lee Mack. That is not you. What you are is just a petty old man sitting in his garage with a narcissistic complex that think he owns the cigar industry, but you're really not that dope. And we're going to get into that. So what happened is when he claimed that, I'm just going to eat my little yogurt right here since I'm talking to an old man. Mm. I don't have a cigar. So his whole thing was that I stole this IP from him and that everybody is taken from him and people don't cite their sources and they need to go back and pay homage to the older people and the people who are seasoned in the cigar industry. And I always did that. Your nephew, Ron Real, the other guy who's not on YouTube anymore, I paid respect to that man. Even Cigar Obsession, Dr. Joe, you can go down your list too, but I never paid respect to you. Why? Because your show was boring. It was never good. It's loud and they're subnoxious and people like that kind of feel good vibe, but you can't even keep your, your thoughts straight. It's so bad that you even like cigars from the wrong end. Why would I want to follow you? Why would I want to stand on your shoulders? Why would I want to look out for the guy that's always complaining in his garage about somebody stealing something from him, somebody taking something from him, about how somebody is not doing something right in the cigar industry and then turn around and smile in their face? That's called being two-faced. That is you, Lee Mac. Thank you. Some of y'all is funny. Oh wait, you can't do this no more? It's too hard, huh? Takes a lot of work, huh? It take a lot of effort, huh? You don't get a lot of recognition, huh? Damn fly. You don't get a whole lot of money, huh? You don't get a whole lot of free stuff, huh? So it's, you got to go. Hey, listen. Hey, there's Ninja, I see you. <laughs> I see you when somebody when somebody mentioned Lee Mac 912's name and is giving props. Oh, I see you in the corner hating. I see you. So you made this whole video after that. After I was trying to be nice to just kind of give you your props. I'm not doing that anymore. It's no more Mr. Nice Guy. So we're here to expose you. So you made this whole video over here talking about me leaving this industry. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I got bored of people like you. I mean, you're going out here and trying to get all these sponsors and you're making these bum ass cigars that nobody reviews, nobody talks about, nobody smokes. And you're doing all of this kind of stuff and you got your own channel shut down. Why would I follow you? You had people in your inbox telling you 
that what you're doing is going to get your channel shut down. We all know how YouTube works. We know that the algorithm is a trippy thing. We know they don't really mess with us people in the cigar industry. And you're one of the main people that likes to go out of his way to post links and try to sell things to put money in your grubby, greedy little pockets. But you can't listen to rules because you think you know everything. You think you're better than everybody else. And what happened? They shut your little punk ass shadow down. That's not happening with me. I'm deciding to move on. I got my viewership. I got the people I like to talk to. The people who were leaving you from your whack channel came to me. I didn't ask them to, but they got tired of your little boring ass videos too. I'm sorry, man. And I think, how you do that? I think that hurt your little feelings, didn't it? You weren't having a great day. You were the one that got jealous. And now you're projecting, oh, you're a cornball, Lee. And you a mean, grumpy, lonely old man. I'm sorry, bro. People don't like that fake smile. They don't like that shit. So that's why when your little channel got shut down and you had to make the second channel, nobody went over there. That's why you only got your measly little 300 followers and subscribers. Nobody cares about you, dude. That's why they're laughing at you now. That's why I'm laughing at you. It's funny, bro. You're sad. People were in my inbox calling you a big baby. A grown baby. How old are you, like 70, 80? And you're doing this? Lee, 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 Lee. It's not good, bro. It's not good. So, you go with these bullying tactics, and you want to call me a little fly, right? I'm a pest. Let's, let's take a look at that. I'm trying to do a Spider-Man and get that fly. Uh, when they started picking a fight with me, I was like, listen, bro, it's not that serious. We all do the same thing. We could all do what we do. We could all do it in our corner, and then we could be happy about it. I'm always happy to help people out, and I hope that you will grow a bigger channel than I have, and you'll come, and you'll surpass me, and you'll, you'll do all kinds of great stuff. Cool. I always pay homage to those folks who came before me, so I have to pay homage to Dr. Joe, and I have to pay homage to Puro Maduro, and even Cigar Obsession and Cigar Fix, and some of the ones that were there. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta pay homage to those folks who came before me, and those folks whose shoulders I stood on to get where I am, and I am happy to be the one to allow somebody else to stand on my shoulders to go on down the road a little bit higher and faster and bigger and better than where I was. I'm not a hater. Some of y'all other ninjas is haters. You don't want nobody else to do better than you. Stop being a hater all your life. You're a hypocrite. You've never reached out to me once. Even when we had beef, you didn't reach out to me. When you were concerned about me stealing your IP, you didn't reach out to me. When my channel was growing, when I was talking to Ron Real, when I was talking to Black Lion Luxuries, when I was talking to Cowboy, when I'm mingling and talking with everybody, you kept your little jealous ass in the background. You were worried because somebody was younger, fresher, more entertaining than your old ass. And now, when I took the time to say, okay, let me talk to this man behind the scenes, you ignored me. So, that's why you're getting cooked on Instagram and YouTube right now. We could have talked this out. We could have hashed this out. We could have been grown men about it. But that's not how you operate because you're a scared, lonely little man. And it's sad, Lee. I'm sorry, Lee. Why would I ever pay homage to you when you operate like that? Why am I going to stand on your shoulders? Why am I going to try to grow 
based on you. I'm not here to bully other people. If you go out and check right now, anybody that's ever come to talk to me or see me in their comment section or see me and reply to them on Instagram, everybody that speaks to me in my comments, I talk to them because I care about people, Lee. Even you for a moment. But no, it's not. We're not doing that now. Now, I'm just dropping bombs, dude. And I don't care. And it's funny to me. I just want people to laugh at you and how ridiculous you are, bro. It's crazy. You, you wanted to attack me because I wanted to move on to do other things. And you kind of thought you won. But in all actuality, you were using me to get your viewers back, to say I'm back. But you had to use me in order to do that to get entertainment. And I know that's what it is, this is. And I know I'm feeding into that. But in the process of feeding into that, I get to expose you for being a little bitch that you are. And that's the beauty of it to me. So people worry like, yo, are you upset? No, I'm not upset, dog. I'm good. I'm going to bring this back to reality. I'm going to leave it right here where it is. I hope you all enjoy. But if y'all want to help Lee Mac out, go smoke his nasty ass cigars. They taste like, you know, this plain white bread. It's pretty, it's pretty disgusting. My yogurt is better than that. Or you can go when he start posting links. Go to his other little channel and help him out because he's only going to get shut down again by YouTube because the dude doesn't know how to listen. He's a grown man that don't know how to follow orders because he's a narcissist. He thinks everybody needs to come to him, bow down and kiss the ring. Keelan don't do that, bro. That's not how we get down. So I hope you enjoyed the little smack on the ass. And uh, don't forget to take your Metamucil. Mm. And be careful how you light your cigars because you're supposed to light them from the foot, not the head. Just a little bit of information to help you out, you old bastard.